let me show you how to issue a refund to one of your students on Teachable. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm guessing you're watching this video because you need to issue a refund. First thing you wanna do is you wanna be in the dashboard of your school. Then on the left-hand side, head over to sales. And then you want to find the student that you are giving a refund to and then click on them. From here, it's going to give you a summary of the transaction, their name, all that kind of stuff. And then right below it, you'll see here refund transaction. It says here, if a student is requesting a refund, you can process the refund here on Teachable. So I'm gonna click refund transaction and it's going to input the refund amount automatically. But if you're doing a partial refund, you can enter in your amount manually. You can also give a reason for the refund. This is optional. And then down below here, it says, Refunds are processed instantly, but take several days to appear in the student's bank account. So I'm going to click refund transaction. And then it says here, this transaction has been fully refunded to unenroll the student from the course. So if you also want to unenroll them because you've given them a refund, you can click there. So I'll just click on it to show you what it looks like. And then from here, it's going to show you what course they enrolled in. And if you want to unenroll them, what you need to do is click on the three dots under actions and then go unenroll. So that is how you issue a refund to one of your students in Teachable. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you want to know how our YouTube channel makes over $15,000 a month by creating tutorials just like this one, head down to the description below because I have a free training for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.